There isn't the Trinder Guide. I'm gonna make a very quick, basic Trinder Guide. When I hit 10k subs on YouTube. So if you want the guide, you need to sub on YouTube. Or tell your friends to sub if you're already subbed. Like, I don't know. Personally, my biggest achievement in life is being high low in this game. I'm one of the best players, like, even unironically in the entire world. And unless you've done something amazing, then I don't see how anybody could say that that, like, sounds pathetic or something. Just because it's a game doesn't mean it's, like, meaningless. I had sex before. I don't see how that's, like, an insane accomplishment, though. When a girl was sucking, sucking me off, I wasn't like, wow, this is epic. I'm such an epic person that this is happening to me right now. I don't think that means anything. Well, to me, achieving challenger means next to nothing. Sure. Because you probably already reached it and it doesn't mean to you anything anymore. Because you're kind of over it already. I'm not saying it should mean something. But to me, it does. And I feel like, comparatively to other things in life, it's just... Whatever you think matters to you is like... It, not, none of it is like... Uh, don't tell or let someone be like, oh yeah, that doesn't mean anything. Gamble? It's not really a gamble. Why he doesn't flash? Because I walked back, he didn't expect it. I took a step back and then I flashed. And also, I, he would only die to a crit, but the fact that I didn't crit in the last, I think it was three auto attacks, that auto attack has like a 80% chance to crit. Something like that. I kinda wanna try Borok set. I might play it on some random account. Maybe even today, actually. I really, I, when I see people play Borok set, it just seems like it's really fun. It's so strong. It's crazy strong. Can't you kill him? I just lost so much CS under turret for that and we don't even kill him. Really, 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 really not worth. Okay, never mind, he wants to die. Okay, he's boosted. Why, why though? <laughs> I don't know, that was really weird. Why do you stay? Yeah, I don't know what you what he expected there. Darius you're scaving. It's so good, man. Love it. Let's try something wild. I don't think I've ever had this combination of items in my inventory only, without anything else. This is not good, chat. Don't build these items. This is troll. It, this doesn't really like give you that much damage. Why not cloak for more kill pressure? Because I'm griefing. I'm trolling right now. Don't build build like this. It's good to build items, but if you can afford other items that are like better, then you should. I just want to try this out for fun. Build fiendish codex instead. I don't think that's advised. Dude, I don't fucking crit ever. Actually, never fucking crit. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> I just don't fucking crit. Oh, I should have bought a fucking cloak. Troll build a bit more. I could freeze right now, but that's boring. No. I just want to make sure that we crash this minion wave before Victor clears it. Fuck! Pokey gun. Mm. Kind of useless little ult because I have ult. I need to ult there anyways.
Got it. Stop script. Is he scripting? What? Like if you guys want to lose, we can we can go next fast with the vote. Like if you guys really want to lose, it's fine. In case it sets salt, yeah, you can. It says suppression. Lulu? What? Why are you there? Another huge example of denying entry to lane being like absolutely fucking massive. Like if you can do this, you should always do it. No man. Oh my god. No, you should stick around top side and just regank once Jax comes to lane because he needs to walk up really far. Okay. What are you doing? Holy fuck, you almost killed yourself. Ah, this fucks my freeze. Thank you, no, no, you did great. Now he has item advantage and sustain advantage and. The wave is bad for me too. My level 2 trade was bad, but other than that, this has been going fine. It's just that the Nunu gank made me fuck my wave, because I had to try to help him. No. Oh, I'll get executed. Okay, that's good. Nice, that's really good. He's probably gonna herald on me. Yep. Oh! Yo, he entered Jax twice now. Second time in a row, buddy. Oh, double buffs. That sucks, man. That really does suck. Let's see if he's smart enough to freeze this. No, doesn't seem like he is. There's no way he lives. Jax is getting fed. I won't be able to beat him on side after he bases. He's gonna have Tabis and Bork, so he will automatically win side. I need to go for a kill now. If I ever want to kill the Jax, I need to do it right now, because he hasn't completed Tabis yet. Could have went for that. Answer broken champion. 
Jaxi is the most tilting ability in this game by far. I hate this ability so much with like all my fucking heart. I hate Jaxi so much. Oh! Jax enters a defensive stance for up to two seconds in which he di fucking dodges all auto attacks and reduces incoming AoE damage by 25%. After two seconds or upon reactivation, Jax stuns all nearby enemies for one second. And in these patch notes, we will make sure that every Azir player will run it down. Usain Bolt style. We feel like these brainwaves that we will be sending all Azir players will bring Azir in line. Fucking horse. Go on top, go on top, go on top. Nice, GG. This is why I hate to play against Jax, guys. See, I win against him. I do, I win against him every time. But I just really tilt from his E. It's... It's the most tilting ability in this game. Like I said, it's not the hardest matchup and I always beat it, but Jax E is just, it's a, uh, it's really something.